Uh, yeah, one of the things that is tricky about being kinky is that you have to do a lot of negotiation before any play to figure out what your kinks and what their kinks are and what might match. So I met a fella on a BDSM site recently. It was about a month ago. All my stories start with that line. <laughs> And he was super sexy. Let's call him Dan. He's in his late 20s, a Filipino guy. And, and we really hit it off talking to each other. But he said, you know, I'm really new at this whole kink thing. And, you know, my kinks are a little hard to explain. So I said, oh, okay, why don't I treat you to dinner? And we can, like, talk through it. So we go to dinner, and it was just so much fun. He was instantly charming and cute, and we both seemed to like each other. And in the middle of dinner, I said, okay, now, why don't you tell me one of your kinks, and I'll think about, hmm, can I do that? Could that work for me? And then I'll share one with you. And he said, okay. Well, the first one is, there's an image in my mind. Um, I'm in this, like, sub-basement of an abandoned warehouse. <laughs> And it's all red light and shadows, and I'm running, I'm terrified. And then I realize I'm running from a serial killer who's chasing me with a machete. <laughs> and he finally catches up to me, and he rips off all my clothes. And before I know it, we're both drenched in each other's blood. And I said, oh, okay, of course I'm thinking, but not saying out loud, like, what the fuck, how am I going to make that happen? So he's like, well, how about you? Tell me one of yours. And I said, rimming? I like rimming. He was like, oh, yeah, that's easier to do. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. I was like, all right, well, anyway, look, maybe you have another. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I have another. He said, okay, in this one, I'm one of the X-Men. <laughs> Only one of the really rare ones. Now, I don't know comic books for shit, so if it's not like Wolverine or Halle Berry, I don't know them any, you know, they're all rare to me. So he's like, so I would have to have like a skin-tight leather suit with like custom-made so you could rip off like the private parts and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm running down this hallway, <laughs> and I'm terrified, and I realize <laughs> I'm being pursued by another X-Men only an even rarer one. And he catches up to me and he rips off all my clothes and before I know it, we're both drenched in each other's blood. I'm like, okay. He said, what's one of yours? I said, pee? I like pee. He's like, yeah, yours are so much easier. I said, yeah, mine are like the male body and stuff that comes out of the male body on a normal day. So he said, well, I have one more. I said, all right, shoot. He said, well, I'm the only one who is naked at this enormous uh, gala, right? Uh, all the women are wearing Dior and Chanel and all the men are in tuxes. I'm thinking, fuck that, this one involves casting? <laughs> he says, I'm naked and they're all clothed and I'm serving hors d'oeuvres and at some point they all just realize that I'm the naked one there and they turn on me and they all start chasing me down a long hallway. <laughs> And before I know it, we're both drenched in each other's blood. I said, I'm going to have to think about all of this. And I walked home from that date. I was walking from Williamsburg, Brooklyn to bed Brooklyn. And I'm like, what am I going to do? I was thinking, you know, what did we use in film school? We used caro syrup and red food coloring. But it was all, you know, to make fake blood, but it was always so sticky and I hated it. And then 
I had a eureka moment. I thought, oh my God, hypno play. I texted him very quickly. I was like, look, 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 wait, I just had an idea. Uh, what would you think about trying erotic hypnosis? Like if I put you into a trance and then guided you through a sexy adventure in your mind. And he wrote back, I would love that. <laughs> so I bought a couple of erotic hypnosis books <laughs> and I am currently studying them. <laughs> They're back in my hotel room. <laughs> I'm preparing for my first session because what I've learned is that, you know, I'm up for almost anything except maybe ending up in a situation with someone where we both end up drenched in each other's blood. <laughs>